Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new game called Farming Simulator 2017. Today, we're gonna walk a straight right through this game, and we're gonna over, we're gonna challenge, we're gonna master this game, is what I'm gonna say. Uh, this game is awfully new, it came out about, I don't know, maybe two months ago. It's a very amazing game, you, could, you should probably pick it up right now, it's on sale on Steam. Or it was on sale, it's a very amazing game, you should get it. So here we go, um... Well, let's see here. This is our farm. We're on the Gold Crest Valley map. Uh, what's down here? Anything down here? It is currently 7.09 a.m. We started a new game a few minutes ago. All that good stuff. So apparently 14, 15, and 12. We own those fields and we have a combine ready to go. We have a tractor, a case. Case. We have a case 1455XL tractor with a wagon. Oh, nice. The texture on these. The texture in this game is amazing, by the way. They have actually have dirt on the tires. I have I have some mods installed active on this game, so just to make things a little bit more funner. We have our little Jeep. I think this is called a rodeo lizard or whatever. Lizard rodeo pickup. Pickup rodeo. A little getting around truck. Let's see here. All the dots on the map, I think we own the vehicles. If I am correct, that is the case. Um, if we press tab, we can basically switch between vehicles. So we have a new Holland tractor over here, which with a, with a uh, cultivator. So that we can get this old crop out and put new crop in. So um, I skipped the tutorial because basically I know how to play these games. These games are pretty fun. So let's get in a new Holland track. Let's get inside. Uh, we're playing on the normal difficulty, so yeah. Uh, the hard difficulty is actually pretty hard. So let's go ahead and press Q to attach this. Alright. Let's, let's move up a little bit. Let's go to the field. Um, let's actually lower this. So uh, as you can see, the ground is actually it's actually pulling up dirt, which is amazing. See like that? It's actually pretty awesome. But we don't have to do all the work. All we have to do is hire a worker, and he's on his way. Look at that! Look at that new, look at that fresh dirt. So over here we have this field that needs to be harvested. Let's go ahead and attach our blade. Let's move up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put a farm. Let's go out hire a worker for this one as well. This game is actually pretty realistic in a lot of ways from the old farming simulators that I've played. And you can actually see that the tires actually make tracks in dirt and mud, which is pretty awesome. See, we have a case IH1455XL with a cedar. Let's go ahead and detach this baby. This is our third field that we need to put crops in. And we can basically um, uh, we can basically select our seed by pressing Y. We have different types of crops. I don't really know the names of each crop, but I know we're just going to go with a uh, wheat. We're going to hire a worker for this as well. So that he'll do that, and then this is for the. Whoops, we left without the trailer. Um, yeah, so this is going to be our tractor trailer pulling combo, so that we can uh, collect the grain that the combine harvester collects while it harvests. And then we got a little pickup truck that we can drive around. It's actually pretty fast, actually. As you can see, like everything in the vehicle actually like moves, like the speed thermometer, all that good stuff. And this is actually a very fast truck because we're like speeding down the highway. Oh my! Whoa! Jeez! Truck is actually pretty hard to handle at full speed. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to home. All the way. Let's see how fast we can get it. This little path right here. Firm. Stop. Nice. <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. And you can also get in the back of the truck and ride in the back. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. 
And last but not least, we have trains. So we can actually like drive these two trains around town. Very awesome. And, and another feature this game uses that we can buy new equipment as well. If we press Y, it'll take us straight to the shop and we have uh, c different categories. We have the sales category, the harvesters, etc. You can basically read it on your own. But um, We have a lot of new things from the, from the previous um, farming simulators. Like, we can actually, uh, if we go into the placeables, we can actually place all these structures down, which is awesome. Very expensive, though, if you mind. But the, the thing I want to get to is into is the chainsaw tab. We have four different chainsaws, and I think I'm going to go with a, a McCulloch. I guess that's how you say it. I'm going to buy a chainsaw for $1,000. So press 1, you can get your chainsaw out. Press 1. Take, puts, it, puts it away and <clears throat> to demonstrate on how the chainsaw works if you've never played farming simulator you can basically farm your own trees for money so um, we're going to chop this big baby down to the ground so if you want to chop it down you got to angle your chainsaw right where you want it it's not, it's not be too close Chop it right here, straight through. Okay, we chopped it once. Um, chop it again. Seems like it'll take more of one. Different sizes. Okay, that's weird. Timber. Now I'm a shed. Well done. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> oh, my lord. What have I done? Um. <laughs> wow. But yeah, you can, like, uh, pick up parts of the tree that you uh, chop away. And uh, we're going to have to fix this because this wasn't playing okay. Let's chop this tree down. Give me, give me good luck. Chop it. This one will not go on top of the roof. Come on, chop it. Again? Come on, fall already. Hello? Fall? Maybe you gotta chop it right here. Fall! Oh my lord. How many different ways do I have to cut it? Yeah! Okay, perfect. <laughs> After like, what, a million cuts in this game? But yeah, you could buy uh, like different machines that will like, actually could take the log, like the the trunk of the log out of the ground, which is awesome. Hello, Chica. What you doing over there? If you get your chainsaw out, if you get your chainsaw, I don't know if you can hear me out. I hope the volume is too loud, but if you get your chainsaw out, you go down straight the middle, or get right on the branches. You can actually remove the branches from the log. Oh, I missed a few. Come on, chop him down. Okay, so now we have this this log laying in our yard. And we can't pick it up because it's way too heavy. So what we can do is get the chainsaw back in the right direction. And you can chop it in smaller pieces. Awesome. So now you can pick up parts of the log and basically stack it and sell it, whatever, turn into wood chips, whatever you want to do, basically. But you can buy machinery in the shop that will do that. Forestry equipment, come on here, 
Uh, you have uh, blades for your tractors. You have a, a log trailer uh, for your tractor or your semi. Um, you have a woodcutter. And you have these awesome, amazing bad boys. The Scorpion King is the best. For $317,000, it's very expensive, but it's also the best. Because what this thing can do is chop down a tree, but also hold it and trim it to whatever length you want. Evenly. Extremely fast, so very worth it once you get the money. Uh, let's see, let's go back here. We have dollies, low loaders, header trailers, levelers, animal trailers, um, cars. We have the Lizard Pickup TT truck. We, and we also have the Road Rage, which is part of a mod that I have installed. Uh, we have mowers. If you want to mow grass, whatever, you can do. You can do that. You can do basically anything in this game. Uh, it's open world. Uh, here are our semis. We have a lizard. We have a phoenix. We have a, a man truck. Uh, this brand is from uh, European Simulator. And then we have the TX lizard. I honestly don't like the style of any of these trucks except the phoenix, which is basically a cool truck. And you can basically uh, customize it to any color, but you can also lease uh, stuff in this game, which is cool. Uh, you have V harvesters, potato harvesters, fertilizer, slurries, basically anything that you can think of in this game. Uh, Baler, you can make hay bales. It's, it's all in this game. This game's pretty amazing. Uh, I do have a mod that makes the time realistic, so days are really long. So that's really cool. Uh, I'm going to show you how this gathering rain with the tractor works. So you're getting this little tractor with the trailer. Oh, get out of his way. Let's see if we can get outside of him. And as you can see, he's uh, he's pulling out the. Whatever it's called, uh, the pipe. I hate these. Uh, I hate these uh, wagons. Cause of the way their wheels are. So yeah, he, uh, like like that. If you get it lined up, he'll put the, the wheat in the trailer, which you can sell for money. So you can just drive along and buy them. He'll give you it. So let's see how much we can get with like this one dollar. We're already at three thousand, which is forty percent. Then you could take this on into the, the, uh, the local nearest town and make a decent profit. Let's stop on that. Just get everything that the harvester has. Because I know the harvester has a lot in him already. Okay, so he's empty. Okay, so let's take this to town. Oh boy, let's not dump it or anything. Let's, let's just get to town safely. Um, let's turn our beacon lights on since we're going onto the highway. These trucks are actually pretty nice inside. They did a really good job uh, doing uh, the way things look in this game. So yeah, we have this long road that takes you straight into town. I do have mods that if you drive over crops, they will destroy them, so you do have to be wary about that. But I'm not really worried. Well, we have uh, AC. We have a heater in here. Wow, this is a little fancy. Uh, Tractor, we have a radio. You can turn a radio on if you want, but it's not the best music or radio. And also, I don't want to get copyright strikes on this video, so I'm not going to turn the radio on. So, over here, this is one of the shops. There are many shops in the town, but this is the one I'm going to go to. 
So you drive up onto the ramp here, the trailer on here, then you press I, which unloads it. And you can see our money just piling up. So we made about three grand, three thousand eight hundred dollars from that, which is pretty nice. I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually like navigate or interact around with the town. Like, I don't know if you could talk to people. Can you talk to people? No, but you can actually like see other people walking around. And you can actually like do stuff. You don't, which is really cool. Like you can pick up basketball and <laughs> probably play basketball. And the the physics of the basketball is really cool. Hey, come here, stupid basketball. Come here. You can even shoot a basketball. See, that's so cool. <laughs> uh. I wonder if the ball will actually go into the rim. Will it? Will it actually go into the rim? Not high enough. Great. Come here. Nice. It did go through the rim. That's awesome. I've never really played basketball, but there's a lot of things you can do in this game. Uh, ooh, can I drive this truck? Come here. Can I drive this truck? Please let me drive this truck. I cannot drive this truck, but you can get mods that will give you a truck. Different types of trucks like that. And if you press 9, that opens up, the, that targets the map, and you can see the whole map. And, you know me, we're dangerous drivers. Oh my, what have we done? Go ahead. Let's turn our hazard lights back on. And let's go home probably going to be the end of this for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like on the video if you like this video. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.